I swapped to Hemlock here to try and get him levels before we have to go fight Misty just to try and make our lives a little easier. Normally I would actually be switch training uh, Abra through all of here, but I'm not going to bother with that right now. I will probably grand grind Abra up off camera to like level 15 and then do the last level so that you guys can see, see him evolve. Well, so what will most likely happen, Crimson, is that if I can get through, get through this, get through Crystal, Emerald will probably be the next one. So there's a good possibility I will at least get that far. I really enjoy Emerald. Uh, that was of that generation of the Gen 3. Like that was the game I probably played the most. Although I did play um, doing like Fire Red and Leaf Green, the remakes of the original series. Were not, I played the crap out of those two. Um, I still go back and play uh, Leaf Green, my copy of Leaf Green, once in a while, and Emerald for that matter. Yeah, this was... Well, there's experience share in this, but uh, I don't even remember how the original experience share worked. But I never used it. I always just... I switch train. Constantly. That's pretty... <laughs> pretty much the way it goes. Experience... To be honest, experience share is really powerful in the new games. XY, Omega, and Alpha. Like, holy cow. Uh, and I don't mind it. Like, it made... It's made the games easier, and so there's a lot of people who really hate that, but... And I'm kind of on the fence for that item, the new version of Experience Chair. Like, I understand why people don't like it, um, but I kind of sit on the fence going, well, you know, it's, ni it's nice, like, I don't, you don't have to grind at all, really, in those games anymore. <laughs> Yeah, this was the old school way of doing it, though. Switch training. You just put them in the front and always use them. Ooh, I'm glad we were not using Bulbasaur there. Holy crap. Peck would have wrecked him. We will beat all of these guys up. We'll definitely get through Misty today. We might even get to, we might finish the night by grinding some of the other guys a little bit, the replacements a little bit, uh, just because we can. Like we're running like on ridiculously good time today. From what I had kind of laid out in my head as to what we were going to do. torn at the moment because we can only we only have one moonstone right now so we can only evolve Floyd or Nido Queen. If we want Nido Queen to be really effective against Surge, we need to you evolve Nido Queen before we get there cuz it's when they get the ground type. We might evolve we might just evolve Floyd though and just hang on to Nido Queen. I'll have to look. I might have to go back and see where we can pick up another one. That will be something that'll happen after this session, though, because I don't have time right now to do that. My boyfriend is cool. Nidoran Mail. So basically, for the first half of this run, up till Mist after Misty, Monarch is probably our MVP. <laughs> Butterfree OP early in the game.
Butterfree is actually probably fairly powerful through a good portion of the game. I just don't. I always swap them out for Abra once we can get Abra, because uh, especially Gen One, because Gen One Alakazam is stupidly powerful. Because um, Psychic types are overpowered as cr like crazy in Gen One, because there just wasn't much of a counter to them. Yeah. As far as experience share goes, yeah. Well, like, you know, Butterfree OP, there you go. Um, I don't do a ton of, like, I, I, switch training I usually do just tell Pokemon are caught up to the area they need to be in. And then I don't do it as much. In this case, I'm trying to get, um, I'm just trying to get Hemlock as much experience as we can, just so that when we go fight Misty, he can most likely own. Butterfree OP. Butterfree's OP until Butterfree gets put in the box, unfortunately. Monarch. We'll get to see Monarch rock in Stadium, though. We'll give Floyd this XP. Ralts is actually really good. Ralts through up to Gardevoir is actually really good in uh, X and Y. Since they made um, made him half fairy type. So here's the trick. You can actually get this guy to come down so you can do this without cut. Yep. <laughs> Alakazam is actually one of my favorite Pokemon. Um, what's funny is uh, my buddy Gabe, who I've talked about a little bit before, he always, uh, basically the two of us played these games together growing up. He played blue and I played red. And I used Golem and Alakazam and he used Machamp and Gengar. <laughs> so, but between the two of us we used all four of the trade evolution Pokemon as main Pokemon for our teams. And that was just because we thought they were neat. And Gabe still likes Gengar and Machamp are two of Gabe's favorite Pokemon to this day. As are Alakazam and... Uh, Golemar for me, so... We do not know if we can successfully kill this Rattata, actually. Oh, he's only 14. He doesn't have Hyper Fang yet, so we're fine. He's freaking out. He's thinking he had Hyper Fang. We still need to try to catch an Ekans before we leave. Leave to go see Surge. I don't remember what half these TMs are. We're going to have to actually look them up. Okay, we are about ready. We're close to going and fighting Misty now, actually. So we've made a progress today. That would be cool. Well, they could... Let's see, did they make one for Machamp yet? I think Machamp needs one too, still. Machamp and Golem. Who was I thinking of the other day? Dang it, I can't think of that. The other day I was watching something and... It was somebody that they really probably should... That would I would love to see a Mega... Oh, Primeape! I would love to see a Mega Evolution for Primeape. Just because I can only imagine what that would be. But it would have to be cool, right? <laughs> Primeape is already, like, insane. Wow, this is the most overpowered rap ever. Really? Are we going here? Jeez. That was an overpowered rap. My god. Alright, we'll go 
talk to Bill. Get the SS ticket. Hmm. The only really good guy we have for that is actually Monarch, since Strafe doesn't have an actual flying attack yet. So instead, we'll go for this. I actually really like the Aggron. I like Aggron as well. I tend to like um, like Ground Rock and Steel type Pokemon quite a bit. Um, I it, unfortunately I have not used Aggron in the new generation at all. So I haven't actually like I've seen Mega Aggron. Mega Aggron looks really cool, but I've never actually used him. Oh, we can poison attack this guy or poison sing this guy. Whoops! Try and get that stab damage while we can. Man, we are really gonna need the Pokemon Center after this fight. That's yeah, alright, we've cleaned out pretty much the whole route at this point. <sighs> ah, screw it, we'll just use potion for that. Try and get Bibli some levels here. I'd say go for it. I'll probably, uh, I haven't started sa uh, sap my Sapphire game yet at all. Um, my Alpha Sapphire. I'll probably, I don't know what I'll do for my team in that one. I The, the first playthrough that I do, I usually don't do anything. Um, I use Pokemon that are only obtainable naturally through playing that game uh, just as a ch challenge to myself or whatever uh, and then after that if I do any subsequent playthroughs on anything I usually will be more specific about what I want to use as my team so Bill is a Pokemon what Pokemon we don't know Do, 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 do. Bill is himself again. Woo! -hoo. Well, now we can get on the SSAN, so that's good. Okay, I can't remember if he actually has anything on the computer in this gen or not. We'll just add these guys to the Pokedex. Alright. Well, shall we go beat up uh, Misty? Defeat us our second gym. Shouldn't be too much trouble. Hemlock's gonna be pretty, sitting pretty good. I don't know. I've thought about that too a little bit. Uh, I think what it's gonna come down to, as far as when the ne what the next game will be and the yearly thing, what it's really gonna come down to is if they decide they want to do a whole new game or if they want to do another remake. 
uh, I would bet it's going to be a new game. Uh, there is a chance that it would still be, uh, it could still be, even as a whole new game, it could still be yearly because the big trick with uh, this last gen is that what took them the longest for the 3DS, these 3DS games, was to build the engine that they're using. Um, to build the fully 3D engine and stuff. And since they've built that now, like, there's not as much development time needs to be put into that. So there's a good chance we could see a whole new Pokemon game again this next fall. But who knows? There's a lot of rumors circulating. Um, at least there were a lot of rumors circulating that had to do with them making a, uh, a Pokemon game for the new Nintendo main console, but that was before this last Christmas. And uh, it doesn't seem like Nintendo is giving up on the Wii U quite yet, so who knows. We will go back to the Pokemon Center one more time before we actually fight Misty, but that's just so that we can re-get all, re all our Vine Whip back. Re-obtain our Vine Whip PP. I know I play this game really cautiously, but a lot of it is just habit. Habit from years of playing this game <laughs> over and over again. And we have to be careful here because Goldine actually has pack. And it looks like we'll probably be fine. Yep. We'll go heal one more time and then we'll take Misty on. And we will have handled this pretty easily. Z, the idea of Z is an interesting thought. Um, that's certainly a possibility. I don't know if that's what they'll do or not. They didn't... It's hard to say. I could see them doing that, though. I wouldn't be against a Sinnoh set of Sinnoh remakes either for Platinum, um, Diamond, Platinum, and Pearl. To be honest, if they were going to remake one of those, the one I would like to see would probably be Platinum, because Platinum was the most interesting of those three. We'll save real quick, because it's been a while. Alright, let's beat Misty! Uh, frankly, as far as I'm concerned, I guess I like these games enough, and I don't mind giving them money, even though like they're remit, like you know, repeats or whatever. So I like if we get a game at all, I'll probably be happy. I'm just one of those people. Like I don't have an issue with the fact that they've the games are what they are. And they are still some of my favorite games, so... Well, I don't have poison powder or nothing on this guy. I am not used to the old, uh... Old Bulbasaur moveset anymore. <laughs> Miss having all my powders and stuff at this point already. There it is, the second badge. And there's poison powder. <laughs> Give it a growl, we don't need that right now.
Wow, you're too much. We should probably throw some stuff in our item box, actually. So there's that. All right. We got about a half hour left before I was going to call it quits for tonight. Uh, we have officially gotten as far as I was concerned with trying to get today. We're going to do one more thing before I swap these guys. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it now. That's a good thing, though. Um, I applaud their effort. I, I'm interested to see what they do. Uh, I was one of the people that I was surprised to see that they decided to... Um, okay, so bye-bye, Monarch. So let's say bye to Monarch and bye to Elect Man. So bye-bye, guys. And hello to Kazam and Sandreas. Okay, we'll heal one more time real quick, and then I'm going to swap the... Uh, Overlay. I was really surprised to see that they are doing um, that Pokemon Fighters. I don't know if you've seen the trailer for that, um, but they're actually doing a straight up Pokemon fighting game. They're working with Bandai Namco on that, and that's kind of interesting. Um, and we might take a look at that when that comes out. We will see what happens. So, bye bye, luck man. You served this team well. Hello to Sandreas. And Monarch finally gets to have a rest. After putting in a lot of time and effort. There's that, so the overlay is modified. I'm excited to see what they do. Uh, I hope they keep trying to innovate it, innovate the games, to be honest, because I just, I like to see what, you know, see them do different things. Excuse me, pardon me, jeez. Okay, we need to go beat up this dude in here to get dig. Oh, I suppose I could technically give Abra Mega Punch, but we're gonna do that just for the sake of Twitch Plays Pokemon. We have used the Helix Fossil. Stay out of my yard. Oh wait, this is in my yard. Huh? Well, unfortunately we swapped out Monarch a little early, but that's alright. We will get through. Just have to be a little more creative. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. The best part about the too much water escapade is that that was seriously the biggest complaint level that that, that gen the first time it came out. And that's what makes it so dang funny. Too much water. Well, at this point now we just need to keep Bibli alive. Go, Bibli!
Yeah, Venusaur, I don't know. Um, I agree with your thoughts on Venusaur. Like, I, I like Mega Venusaur just fine. Like, Venusaur is still my favorite of the Kanto starters. Um, big, the biggest reason is just the nostalgia of the fact that Venusaur is who I picked. Bulbasaur is who I picked way back in the first, the first time. And so I have nostalgia for that. Um... But yeah, he can I don't know why. They just didn't seem to do much with him. I mean, it's okay. I thought he looked fine, but yeah, uh, like he definitely was not the I don't know. They just couldn't come up with something, or I, I imagine. Floyd, don't sleep on me, buddy. Stupid drowsy. Holy cow, really? We're getting beaten by a frickin' Team Rocket grunt. Now at this point I'm not even gonna bother. I'm not gonna waste potions on this. Wow, Sing actually worked for us there. I can't believe it. Go, Floyd! Prove that you are powerful, Floyd! Well, Floyd earned his place today. <laughs> and we are slowly getting Kazam some XP. Alright, so now we have Dig, so we're good to go. Um... We're good to go beat Surge at this point, basically. I was originally going to give Dig to Nido Queen, but I think that I'm going to go ahead and just teach Dig to Sandshrew, most likely. We won't do that today, though. Oh, I had to split that three ways. Dang it! That was dumb. Oh, we picked Helix Fossil, too. There was a vote. Helix won. So I guess Anarchy wins for now. That sucks. Sorry to hear that, man. Let's get this done with, though. Kazam is evolving! Let's look at the really derpy version of Kadabra. Ah, the derpy version of Kadabra. <laughs> It's not really derpy, it just, like, it's kind of funky looking. 